accomplished and things that actually, you know what, I'm going to turn this into a reality. Because I, I knew the brand, I knew the organisation, and now I felt like I knew the person. And that person met me, and no, no airs and graces, when, I, when, when Penny Peel started rolling and uh, I invited the person to the, to, the, to the charity and it was yes, on the call, yes. All the time it's been a yes, it's been a yes, no problem, what can I do, how much can I do? And I was saying earlier on as well that I've never met such a generous person in my life and we've met, met some amazing speakers over the last three days, yeah? Dr. Musharraf, Naz and Dr. Hani. And that generosity that Dr. Musharraf spoke about this person is the embodiment of that generosity. Um, and when I, met, when I met him and he knew what we were struggling, he knew, he knew the challenges, he could see it. Um, and there's some, there's some lovely stories for another day. But I'll tell you something, when we were struggling and you, some of the people that you met today, Abdul Barachi, you know, and the person is Dr. Hani. So a big round of applause for Dr. Hani. <laughs> When you met me, it's like, you know, you need this, you need this, you need, you need this. I was like, that's, that's great, we need all that. That's what everybody says, we need this, we need this. Because here's my mobile phone, type this name in, type the name in, says, get that number, call him. Okay, what about this? He's this person. And Nasser Rafiq is still working with us. Um, I'm Abdul Barachi, who was a lawyer for Islamic Relief, 25 years. And you, you guys in the international meeting that we had today saw that as well. Uh, so Dr. Hani was so, so generous and so amazing that he's an old address book. All the contacts, all the networks that he thought that we needed, it was there you go, Dean, there you go, there you go, there you go. And even till today, I know Dr. Han's got a very, very busy, um, you know, we're going to South Africa on Monday, right? Traveling around the world. I, I, I get busy looking at his Facebook because I, I was wondering where he is now. He's here, he's here, he's here. But well, yeah, I, I could stand here all evening and probably all of next week saying how amazing you are and how, how much you've helped us. So just a bit, a, a real big, Generous round of applause to the real founder of uh, Penny Field. Don't come here for that. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Alhamdulillah, Ustaz Sawa, Rasulullah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Ya Allah, Alhamdulillah, 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 Assalamu Rasulullah. What has been mentioned earlier is about somebody else, <laughs> not about me. Unfortunately, uh, you will discover the individual secrets of his or her life when they leave this dunya. You will discover our secrets when we die and depart. That's why we ask Allah to uh, protect us after this by not showing our mistakes to others. It could be scandalous. Some people might think that we are heroes, but we are zeros, not heroes, unfortunately. When we look, I was just reading a verse of the Quran, incredible verse. Said, Allah, Alladhi Rafa Samawati, Bagayri Ahmadin Trauna. Allah has created the heavens or the skies without pillars that you can see. Scientifically, the earth is full of unseen pillars. Holding the skies. Who might have a pillar in Wakefield? A pillar in London? Hundreds of pillars in Europe? And hundreds and thousands and thousands of pillars worldwide? In this sprawling world. So you can imagine the magnificence of the magnificent who create a holding the heavens. You can look at the skies. And you can see it's standing still because there's a pillar that you and me cannot see. And the scientific knowledge of today with the technology cannot see it and cannot imagine it. Can you imagine that? That you're in the middle of a work field with a pillar next to you going from the depth of the seventh earth 
to the height of the seventh sky. But you cannot see it. And this is the Lord of the universe. But people still up today do not believe in him, unfortunately. And for how you can make other gods and goodies for themselves. This is number one. The pillar that we cannot see is created by Allah. But in life, we have other pillars that we can see and raising us through the ladders they can create for us to reach the heavens and the skies. It is the ladies, the mothers, the women, the sisters. Without them or nothing. Come stand next to me, Sister Razwana. I am here celebrating one of the human pillars, which on her shoulder I can climb high as a mother, as a sister, as a colleague, as a daughter, as an auntie, as a grandma. In the Arab proverb, we say, Al Ummu Madrasatun, Mother is a school, college, university. If she is prepared very well, she prepared the whole society and the best for humanity. Invest in woman. Invest in woman. Invest in woman. That's why we thank Penny Appeal of rising to this standard. If you want to destroy a nation, destroy three components of the nation. First, destroy the family. Destroy the family. The bond. The most important civil society and institution and organization can build a nation, can build a society, can build civilization, and build renaissance. Once we destroy the family, we destroy a whole nation. Keep the family ties very strong. The second component, if we destroy, we destroy our nation and our society, is education. An ignorant society will never produce leadership at all. It will produce corruption, backwardness. To invest in family, invest in education system, all different sources of education. Not only one source of education, but education system, some children do not like the state education. There should be vocational education, there will be education for the talented people. If you want to discover the talent of the young man or the young, boy, young girl or young, or young man, from the age of seven or eight, if she is good in mathematics, good in arts, good in geography, good in history, good in poetry, good in music, good in sports, invest in this specialism so they'll become superstars. Because education is not one size fits all. The third component, if you destroy, you destroy the society, is the role models, the icons. The pillars are the pillars of the society. When you tarnish them because of the political system or the political impact. And I will explain to you how the politics destroyed itself by trying to tarnish one of the greatest scholars on humanity. His name was Al-Bukhari. Bukhari is the one who collected all the authentic traditional says of the Prophet Sallallahu used to walk for hundreds of miles. One time he went to a man after traveling hundreds of miles to look for one of these traditional sayings of the Prophet Hadith. And he found that this man is getting some grass to get the goat inside the house. And he was observing him. He was observing him. And after he got the goat inside the house, he told the man, were you giving, showing the animal, the grass, to feed it, or just to get it into the house? He said, no, 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 just to get it into the house. He crossed the hadith. 
If you lied to an animal, you can lie on the Prophet ﷺ. And after traveling of hundreds of miles to go to this man, he scrapped the saying, which actually he did because he lied to a goat. This man was not an Arab, was from Bukhara, Samarkand, Central Asia. But he mastered the Arabic language. Something we have to invest in the Arabic language. Because it's the language of knowledge. Anyway, when he was old, he went back to rest. And he was disliked by all the rulers of the area. So he went to Samarkand. But the Amir or the ruler did not like him. Because he's very much welcome. But the people tell him, out. One of the great scholars. And he moved from there to another city. Another 100 or 200 miles. The same ruler told him, out. Because he was scared of his fame, his power, his magnetic power who can bring community together. Then he went to his, origin, his homeland, Bukhara. He did not want to go to the city itself. But he went to a village outside the city. To, with his relatives. The same Amir of the place kicked him out. He said, out. I don't want you. You know why? You know why? Because all those Amirs wanted him to teach their children in their palaces. And they told them, knowledge does not go to the palace. People come to the knowledge. Knowledge can go, cannot come to you. And this is Bukhari. And he was very old. They are very young. Okay, he was very old and was tired when he was kicked out of the third city Nasabur Samarkand and Bukhara he told his young fellow them, please my sonny let me rest for a while because I'm very tired before we don't know, we don't know where we go and they told him okay fine he slept on the side of the road and he never woke up. And this was the greatest scholar, which we don't know how much he suffered to collect the authentic says of the teacher of humanity. You have to imagine how a great scholar in science, in technology, in history, in geography, suffered to bring such knowledge to us. So education, family, and role models, if they are touched by politicians, they destroy the whole nation. Protect them. Protect them, protect them. And the source of the family is you. It's you. And because of you, actually you can build a family and she can build the stairs that the children and generation to come can climb to reach the skies of heaven. Thank you, Idu. Is it Idu? You. He's, he's awake. Yeah, he's awake. Adi. <laughs> I give you a nickname of Edo. <laughs> huh? Edo means hand. <laughs> thank you. And thank you, Sister Rizwana. And thank you, all of you, for asking me to come here and celebrate our success. Success is when you build the unbreakable buildings. When you fill the unseen gaps, when you draw the road maps for generations to come, and when you put down the milestones to light the path of generation to come, this is a success. And I wish all the best for you as Penny Appeal, and thank you, Sister Rizwana, for standing next to me to let me rise. So, thank you. We've got a lot of something to say. It's just a lot of something to say thank you. Thank you. Arafat. Okay. Thank you. May Allah bless you, inshallah.